Former piano prodigy Kosei Arima, softball player Subaki Sawabe, and soccer player Ryota Watari are childhood friends who attend the same junior high school. Subaki believes the world to be colorful when one is in love, while Kosei views the world as monotone ever since the death of his mother Saki Arima two years ago. Subaki invites Kosei on a double date, as Ryota will be introduced to a girl who has a crush on him. Kosei explains that he used to be a pianist to fulfill Saki's dream up until her death. Yet he still clings to the piano because that is all he has left. The next day, Kosei is the first to arrive at the park. He sees a girl playing a melodica, and three children join her in harmonious playing to attract pigeons. After making a bad first impression involving an accidental upskirt, he realizes that she is actually Ryota's date when Tsubaki and Ryota arrive. The girl is revealed to be violinist named Kaori Miyazono who is getting ready to perform in a concert hall. A flashback shows that Kosei performed the third movement of Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata, but he froze in the middle of the performance due to being overwhelmed by Saki's death. Kosei, Kaori, Subaki, and Ryota make it to the concert hall where the second annual junior high division violin competition is being held. Ten minutes before it begins, when Kosei, Subaki, and Ryota enter the auditorium, Kosei breathes in the nostalgic scent, and some people recognize him as a former piano prodigy. As the first round of the preliminary starts, each contestant starts the same set piece with a piano accompanist. Kaori is the fourth contestant to come onto the stage and play the set piece, but she plays it in a unique manner, wowing the audience. After the competition, Kosei observes from the sidelines as Kaori runs towards Ryota, almost like a scene from a romantic movie. Because of this, Kosei feels like he is playing the role of friend A, pondering his newfound mixed emotions for Kaori. The next day, since Ryota has soccer practice after school, Kaori offers Kosei to stand in for Ryota in the meantime. During the first round of the violin competition, Kaori performs the first movement of Beethoven's Kruze Sonata, but she played it in a totally different style compared to the original score. When Kosei and Kaori go to the cafe, they notice an upright piano in which Kaori orders Kosei to play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. The sound soon resonates around the cafe as he begins to play a variation of the melody but he abruptly stops and leaves in the middle of his performance. Kaori finds Kosei at the park, where he reveals that he begins to lose his ability to hear the sound of the piano once he starts to concentrate, as if the flower petals are pulled upward and caught in the spring wind. Since Kaori was nominated by the audience to advance to the second round of the preliminaries, she tells him to get over his so-called curse and embrace his talent. Appointing him as her new piano accompanist, Kosei later tries to evade Tsubaki and Kaori, who post the chosen set piece all over school and home. Kaori eventually finds Kosei on the school roof, and he continues to refuse her request. She reaches out to him after persistent begging, and he finally agrees. At the cafe, Kosei performs the melody of Mozart's theme and first variation form of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, in which one girl accompanies him whilst another girl listens in amazement. Kosei, Kaori, Tsubaki, and Ryota rush to the concert hall, making it in time just before the second round of the preliminaries begin. In the hallway of the venue, Kaori headbutts Kosei to calm down his nerves and tells him not to worry, all before they are called up on stage and begin their musical journey together. Although they start off the set pieces slowly and quietly, the tempo increases and the playing style intensifies. Kosei begins to feel trapped at the bottom of an ocean, unable to hear the sound of the piano. His accompaniment eventually spins out of control and he suddenly stops playing, stirring confusion from the audience. Kaori continues playing for a while but she stops as well and says to him to do it again. She resumes playing the set piece and he gains the confidence to start accompanying again as he draws out his fears. As they finish performing, they get a standing ovation from the audience, but Kaori faints on the stage soon after. During the second round of the violin competition, Kosei and Kaori perform Saint Saen's introduction and Rondo Capricioso, a piece that starts calmly and then becomes vigorous in tempo and dynamics. Kosei and Tsubaki and Ryota visit Kaori in her hospital room. Kosei feels responsible for disqualifying Kaori from advancing to the final round of the preliminaries due to stopping in the middle of their performance, yet she has not said a word of reproach to him. He feels out of place since this is not something he can easily forget. Tsubaki has not been herself either, shown when she is not focused during softball practice, as if her eyes are cloudy. She seeks advice from her good friend Nao Kashiwagi. Tsubaki later encounters Saito, the former captain of the softball team of whom she used to admire. When Kaori is discharged from the hospital and comes back to school, Kozei hesitates to speak to her until Ryota approaches by her side. After school, Kozei finds Kaori playing hopscotch at a bridge, where she implores him to enter a piano competition. 
Kaori dives into the river below, which motivates Kaze to do the same. Kaori reveals that she not only recorded Kaze poorly practicing a set piece for the upcoming piano competition, but she also already submitted his entry of participation, much to his shock. However, she encourages him to imagine how he wants to play this piece. Tsubaki realizes how close Kaze and Kaori are becoming and feels left out, so she contacts Saito and asks him to be her boyfriend. After Kaori coaches Kose through the set piece, they witness Tsubaki playing in a softball regional tournament. While running around the bases, Tsubaki breaks focus and injures her foot before sliding into home plate, costing her team the game. As Tsubaki suffers from this devastating incident, Kose gives her a piggyback ride on the way home. As the recording plays, Kose performs Chopin's Wrong Note Etude. Characterized with having dissonant semitones in succession in the minor key, main theme, and consonant melodic lines in the parallel major key second theme. In the recording, Kose was pressing the piano keys too hard due to his inability to hear the piano, resulting in a very ugly performance. During the soccer regional tournament, Ryota misses the soccer goal on his last kick, also costing his team the game. With the day of the piano competition approaching, a troubled Kose collapses from exhaustion during physical education class and is carted to the infirmary. Kaori later walks with Kose to the park where he says that he's trapped in Saki's shadow. However, Kaori believes that Kose is himself giving him comfort and support. On the day of the piano competition, Kaze enters the concert hall and walks past a boy and girl awaiting his arrival. A flashback reveals that Takeshi Aiza and Emi Igawa were piano prodigies who were jealous of Kaze, since he always bested them in every piano competition during their childhood. As the piano competition begins, Kaze sits in the hallway, scared out of his mind. As Takeshi is called up onto the stage, Kaze recalls Kaori telling him to be confident in himself. It is shown that Takeshi declined an invitation to an international piano competition because he believes that Kose will finally arise after an absence of two years. As Takeshi plays his set piece on stage, it is recalled that he worked tenaciously to improve his musical talent due to his aspiration to play like Kose. Takeshi receives a thunderous applause from the audience after he finishes his performance, and his hands shiver once he leaves the stage. After an intermission of 15 minutes, Emi walks onto the stage to perform her set piece. Ami also vowed to become better at the piano after being in awe of Kose, but she lost her motivation to play when Kose vanished from the scene, unable to live up to her potential in her musical talent. Since Kose is finally back, she gives a performance of her life, expressing her emotions of anger and loneliness as she lets the music ring from within her. The audience gives a huge applause following her performance. During the piano competition, Takeshi performs Chopin's Torrent Etude, in which continuous 16th notes are played in perpetual motion. Emi performs Chopin's Winter Wind Etude, emphasizing two melodic lines to demonstrate right-hand dexterity and left-hand flexibility. Both of their performances reflect their idolization towards Kose. A flashback explains that Emi threw away all of her ambitions in order to learn how to play the piano after hearing Kose perform for the first time. After a resonating performance, Emi heads backstage to the hallway and attempts to confront Kose, but she finds herself bereft of words and just walks away. After another intermission of 15 minutes, Kaze comes onto the stage to play his set piece. As Kaze approaches the piano and plays the set piece, he confronts his past. He first wanted to win every piano competition, believing that would cure Saki from her terminal illness. However, he wished for her to die since he could no longer handle her strict manner and abusive attitude. Later feeling regretful for what he said after she died, that feeling comes back to haunt him as he feels trapped in an ocean again, not being able to hear the notes anymore. During the piano competition, Kose performs Chopin's wrong note etude again, and he starts out perfectly this time. However, he slowly begins to give in to the haunting memories of his mother, breaking focus from the set piece. Kose begins to fall apart in his performance, drawing buzz from the audience. He feels trapped in his mother's shadow, unable to escape from his trauma. He stops midway through, looking at Kaori in the audience and wondering why she played again during her performance before. This motivates him to keep playing, discreetly dedicating this set piece to Kaori. The music sounds differently this time, as if the stars are shining brightly in the night sky. He feels somehow connected to Kaori, sharing the same scenery of spring in a way, since it is because of her that gave him the ability to play again. When he finishes performing, the audience sit in silent awe before giving a scattered applause. During the piano competition, Kaze performs Chopin's wrong note at two day once again, but after falling apart and stopping midway through, he resumes his performance by focusing his attention on Kaori. After the performance, Kaze runs into Hiroko Seto, a world-renowned pianist and Saki's close friend. Along with her cheerful daughter, 
Koharu Seto. Hiroko is aware that Koze was emitting love during his performance, but Koze really was showing gratitude instead. As the results of the piano competition are posted, it's no surprise that Koze did not make the cut. Both Takeshi and Amy are struck by how he has changed and matured, but they do not understand how he has felt for so long. The next day, Hiroko visits Koze, who fell asleep from playing the piano all night long. It's shown that Kaori was selected to participate in a gala concert at the concert hall, and she invited Koze to accompany her again. Hiroko offers to be Koze's piano teacher, to which he accepts. At night, Koze and Kaori enter into the field of fireflies, and Kaori comments that the light of the fireflies is also its own life. Koze admits that Kaori was his inspiration during his performance in the piano competition. Did you like this video? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Oh, and don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button while you're at it. And as always, I will see you in the next video.